Okay, radiator is installed. This is the AMD bracket. This is the way to do it. Doesn't have the back plate. It's on the same principle as standard AMD socket. Anyway, this plate is magnetic so it's easier to manipul manipulate manipulate with it sorry for my accent Let's put the other one in not over tighten it so you can put it into place And hold it down all the way all the time you're screwing it together so you don't have bubbles or anything between CPU and cooling and don't tight one first and then the second That's it, in just a sec. And in the end, use a screwdriver. We'll take this shiny sticker off. We don't need it. It's glossy as it is. Like I said, it's powered by SETA. And a 3 pin dummy which you put which you plug in into one of the CPU fans now I have a lot of things to do I still have to do uh, mount the fans and then the cable management so see you on my next step okay fins are mounted and now it's time for eye link and to put those fans in chain so our link is installed this way Thank mm -hmm. you. 
gets it all the way. Motherboard header, so it's going around the back. And now the fans. damage any on the pins. I guess you can hear my dog. Two year old Rottweiler that never stops barking. Anyway about the cables this is here and it's in, and it's in place can split it for better cable management. I will make it a bit more tidy than it is now. But this is this is it for now. You may have noticed that I put in static pressure fans from Corsair. They have slightly better performance than the fans that came with Corsair H100i but I will test that also so that's it for now thanks for watching subscribe and see you soon bye